Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Phil. Welcome to another video. Today we're going online shopping. As we all know, Windows 98 retro PC gaming is lots of fun, but prices are getting out of control. Anything decent with a good brand name locker, 3DFX, Voodoo or an Asus motherboard, the prices are really spiraling out of control. So over the next few videos, I'm going to have a go at building a bargain Windows 98 retro gaming PC. Will it work? Will the process give you something decent? Will it all be compatible with the games? Because we won't be able to afford anything super decent. I live in regional Australia, so eBay is the main source of my retro parts. So that's what we're going to use. So chances are that you can even get some of these parts for even less. So let's change the category to computers and tablets, computer components and parts. Let's look at motherboards first. I'm going to change the location to Australia only and also going to turn on buy it now. And then we're going to sort it by the price. Because the AMD Ryzen just launched, let's go with an AMD system. So the first item pickup only, we can't buy that. But what about this one? Brand new motherboard, it's 12 Australian dollars. It's a socket 754 motherboard with an SIS chipset, so that's what we're gonna go with. We also need a processor, let's type in AMD 754 and see what we find. So it looks like the cheapest AMD socket 754 CPU is the AMD Sempron 2800 plus. I'm not sure if I've got that CPU, but I've got a lot of Sempron, so we're just gonna pretend we're going with this and then I'll see what I actually have in stock. We also need some memory. It uses DDR400 memory, so we're just gonna do a search for 512 DDR. There you go, $2, that's all we need. Although the motherboard has an integrated graphics card, it's not gonna be very powerful, so we definitely need a dedicated video card. Considering we're building an AMD system, let's go with an ATI Radeon and see what we can find. Most of these cheaper cards are PCI Express. We need one with the AGP interface and this one is too slow, the Rage 128 Pro, but how about this one, Radeon 9550. I'm gonna have a look if I've got something similar, but let's pretend we're gonna go with this card. We will also be needing a hard drive. The motherboard has onboard SATA, so I just typed in SATA HDD and let's have a look. 320, that's too big. We need something that's up to 120 gigabyte. What about this one? 80 gig, eight bucks, that's the one. We also need an optical drive, so let's have a quick look. Here we can find a DVD or a CD-ROM for around $2.50 with an ID connection. That's perfect for what we're gonna do. So basically we spent around 50 Australian dollars. Now, things like the case, power supply, and keyboard, mouse, and monitor, and all of that, I'm just assuming that you have that lying around at home or that you can get it for a very low price as well. So here are all the parts. Now the motherboard I actually got last year. So I was quite pleased to see that it's still basically the cheapest option around. Now, most of the parts have found some good substitutes. We've got the 512 megabytes of RAM, I've got a Radeon 9550. I forgot to include the CPU cooler, so hopefully you've got one lying around. The good news is the Socket 754 CPU coolers are compatible with all the other ones, 939, AM2, AM3+, Plus, all that stuff. We've got an 80 gig SATA drive, an ID optical drive. I did have a Sempron 2800 Plus, so that's awesome. And also forgot to include an ID cable for the optical drive. We need a SATA cable for the hard drive. Then I've got a little PC speaker just to make sure that the post completes fine. And then one of these front panel connectors for power reset, uh, hard drive and power LED. I'm not gonna put it in a case. I'm just gonna build it on an open test board. One reason why I like to buy boxed motherboards is you get all the accessories, but you also get the driver CD and the manual. So here we go. It's the SIS 760GX MN version 2.1. We've got an HEP interface, two PCI slots. There are two SATA ports, two ID floppy. We're not going to use a floppy today. That's for the ATX power. Two slots for RAM, and here goes the socket 754 for the processors. The motherboard has everything integrated that we need. PS2 ports for keyboard and mouse. It's got a serial and a parallel port. It does have onboard VGA and I might be checking that out briefly. We've got four USB ports, Ethernet controller and also audio ports. 
So yeah guys, looks like a fairly decent motherboard. I haven't used it before, so let's put on some funky music and put it all together. Okay guys, here we go, everything is ready to go. So this is the 50 Australian dollar Windows 98 budget bargain retro gaming PC. In the next episode, you will find out if it actually works. We're gonna run some benchmarks and I think I will start with the onboard graphics first just to see how bad it is and then we're gonna slot in the ATI Radeon and see what the difference is. Thank you so much for watching. As always, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Hit the like or the dislike button, share the video and leave me a comment down below. What do you think about retro prices? Where do you get your parts from and do you think this machine will actually be decent.